very much. Let's go to Representative McLean. Representative McLean, you are recognized for five minutes. Amen to that, Mr. Walters. Crazy, crazy uh, concept that parents have the best oversight of their kids. Wow. Um, I can't even believe that's controversial. But anyways, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to all the witnesses being here today. Um, it is well documented that the Chinese Communist Party has been engaged in, long, in a long-standing campaign to infiltrate the American public education system in an attempt to poison the minds of our, our nation's children. So I'm here to represent our kids, the American children, the majority. That's my job, that's what I'm elected to do, and by God, that's what I'm going to do, right? I mean, wake up, people. China is not our friend. Look around. They are coming after us educationally, militarily, academically, economically. I mean, turn the news on. Unless you live under a rock, this is the reality in which we live. And I will not apologize to protect our American children period, end of conversation, because that's what the voters in my district elected me to do. So with that, sorry, a little bit passionate, story got away from me. Uh, Mr. Neely, can you talk more about the findings in the PDE's report, specifically on the 20 Confucius, 20 Confucius classrooms located near military installations, ironically, coincidentally. And how does this threaten our national security? Sure, so the 20 military bases that we identified these programs operating near, the Naval Academy in Annapolis, Buckley Air Force Base, davis monthan Air Force Base, Dover Air Force Base, Fort Bliss, Fort Liberty, which was formerly known as Fort Bragg, Fort Knox, Naval Great Lakes, Hanscom Air Force Base. Can I, can I just stop you in the oh, interest yeah. of time? I yeah. appreciate that. So I there's will, yeah. 20? There's, There's 20, 20 yes. near military bases. Correct. How many other, how many Confucius Institutes do you know of teaching in our American schools right now? As of today, we know that there are at least seven that are in operation, but these are all ones that we have current contracts in hand to prove. We suspect that there are many, many more. The Senate the, um, and others have found, have mm -hmm. estimated about 500 programs operating around the country. And so it's a big question as to what's actually taking place because so much of it has gone underground. And so to your question about the military bases, we don't know what is happening, and that to me is the most frightening part. Who are these employees, what do they have access to, and what is going back and forth, both going into the minds of our children and then what data is flowing out of these And schools. can you talk about what would be the harm to be so transparent to the parents of these children? Transparency is not harmful, and that's why I find the fact that Unless you're hiding something, and unless you have an ulterior motive, then transparency, right, would you agree with me, is gravely harmful. Yeah, I mean, I have yet to hear a good argument why families shouldn't have access to know where the money is coming from and what their kids are learning. Right. We are being hit with ad hominem attacks, and this is being called racist. What is real racism in American schools today? <laughs> we just saw the Harvard decision. That was racism against American students. We have seen affinity groups where children are being segregated on the basis of skin color in 2023 in American schools. That is real racism. Talking and asking questions and saying families deserve information about who is funding their schools is not racist. I, I, can't, I can't agree more with you. You go. <laughs> Is it possible for these teachers from China, possible, possible, from these teachers from China to access sensitive student information, like their health care, grades, uh, maybe where they live? Is it possible, or are our schools just locked down so tight on this sensitive information? School data security is terrible. I'm sure Sec uh, Superintendent Walters can speak more about this, but student information is there, it's in a big file, and pretty much anybody has access to it. And so that is something that concerns me deeply because basically anybody who has access to a school server should be able to access pretty much anything. But I, I defer to Superintendent Walters. All right, I thank you. Is it also possible for the CCP, through these Chinese teachers, possible, I say, is that, that they're influencing chil uh, children to divulge information on parents stationed at these critical military bases. Could, could they get that information? I would, I would assume, yes, it is absolutely possible to ask a child. I have, I'm the parent of an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old, and man, they tell everybody everything about me. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
With my 10 seconds remaining, I just want everyone to think about, who are we protecting here? I'll share with you who I'm protecting. I took an oath to protect the Constitution and to protect Americans, and especially our children. And that's what I think we intend to do. And I think we need to continue to look at the harm that transparency is causing, or I should say, lack thereof. So thank you all for your witnesses. I'm over. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you. Uh